Hi, my name is Alexis. I am a neonatal nurse at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. I am originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. I've been working at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta for a year and three months. My day-to-day -day starts with receiving report for the off-going nurse, and then I typically start with my first hands-on, assessing my patient, getting to know the patient. I give them their first rounds of medications, um, do our serial line change for their central line, and then participate in interdisciplinary rounds where we decide their plan of care for that night or day. Um, sometimes it includes participating in bedside surgeries or preparing to take them to the OR. We do blood gases, but overall our main goal is to stabilize the patient, keep the patient alive that day or night, and then eventually prepare them to be able to go home with their families. I graduated from Georgia State University with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, May 2019, and I became a nurse September of 2019. My future plan is to become a neonatal nurse practitioner. I decided that I wanted to become a nurse after my baby sister was born. She had to be taken to the neonatal ICU and I was able to watch the nurses resuscitate her, take care of her, really love on her when we weren't able to. And it made me realize that I would like to give that same level of care to families, newborns, um, and help stabilize them and be a part of the process in letting them go home. I am currently a part of a neuroprotective council and have always been passionate about neonatal pain and neurocognitive development of the neonate. I would love to make research advancements that lead to our patients developing just as if they were born full term and were able to immediately bond with their mother. This grant would mean so much to me because it would pay off my current student loans in full and I would be able to pursue my aspirations of becoming a neonatal nurse practitioner. As an undergraduate, I worked overnight as a nurse extern to support myself. Both of my parents moved out of the state of Georgia and weren't able to support me financially. So while managing the stress of school, I was working night shifts and balancing clinical shifts with it. This grant would mean so much to me in two major ways. The first way would be because it's going to pay my student loans in full and I would not have to balance my two jobs um, to be able to afford all of the payments. And then I would also be able to develop a more healthy work-life balance. And on the life side of that balance, I would be able to pursue my passion of community service, um, going on all of the mission trips that I've been going on in the past and working on changing lives in that way. I believe I'll have an impact on our community five to 10 to 15 years from now because I am actively working every shift to save the life of a newborn who will then have the opportunity to be a change maker for our future. These little babies are the leaders of our future, the cultivators of our future, and each one of their lives is so precious. The fun fact that I always share during any icebreaker is that my right foot is two and a half sizes smaller than my left foot. One day when I was younger, I was playing and I broke my growth plate. So my right foot stopped growing and my left foot continued. And the question that everyone always asks is, do I have to buy two different pairs of shoes? And the answer is no, I probably should, but I typically will either wear an extra sock on my right foot, or I kind of let my right foot slide around in the shoe. Buying two pairs of shoes would just be super expensive. I actually work rotating day and night shifts. So my go-to cup of coffee is a white chocolate mocha with an extra shot of espresso, and I always ask for it to be extra, extra sweet. One piece of advice that has been invaluable to me throughout my time in nursing school and starting my career has been not to look to my left or my right, but focus on my path ahead. I had to transfer nursing programs and also work overnight while in school, and I couldn't compare myself to my former classmates who were able to graduate ahead of me, nor could I compare myself to my classmates who didn't have to work in school. I had to focus on myself and know that if I kept working hard and believe myself, I could do it.